baby not even the u.s government can waterboard the information that miss christina mackey is out here giving for free with these press runs Now let's get into it. Christina Mackey, who is dating none other than Rick Ross, has been making so many waves across social media for her Pick Me campaign. She has been on IG Live asserting that I'm a pick me, I'm a pick me, I'm gonna be picked by the same man over and over and over. It was so embarrassing, y'all. Let's look at the clip. Please keep calling me a pick me. I'm asking you to refer to me as a pick me. I prefer it. All you're doing is manifesting that up with me. I want to get picked over and 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 over again by the same man a million times. I want to marry that man. I want to have that man's children. And I want to live a happy life because he keeps picking me and I keep picking him. I'm a pick me for sure. I'm not a whatever the opposite of that would be. A not pick me. Whoever raised their hand and said, hey, don't pick me. Bitch, I am a lover. I am here to be loved. I am here to give love. I'm a pick me. Pick me. Pick me. Pick me. For sure. 100%. You're not hurting my feelings. All you're doing is manifesting it with me. Let's do it together. Pick Christina Mackey. Pick Christina Mackey. Because I'm picking him too. So if I'm a pick me, he's a pick me, and we get chose together. This girl has been getting cooked so bad on social media. You have some people that are calling her desperate. One thing that cracks me up, but also annoys the shit out of me, is when some of y'all will get on the internet and say the most fake, deep shit. Like, I was watching that interview with um, Rick Ross' new girlfriend, and that it was it wasn't an, an, an interview sorry it was like a post that she made on social media she's like y'all keep calling me a pick me i am a pick me i want to get picked and picked and picked because i want that man to keep picking me oh my god the way that i want some of y'all just stop posting on the internet shut up like what are you talking about girl the way that she knows what people mean when they when they're calling her a damn pick me like we we all know what people mean when they're calling you a pick me I want to keep getting picked and picked. It's so fake deep. It is so fake deep. Girl, go love on that man for the for the next 25 minutes that you have with him because we've all seen the way that Rick Ross cycles through women. Like, please get your five minutes and move. We are tired. Of course, the red pill guys are going to eat that up. They are definitely in the comments praising her. I want you guys to comment in the space below. Like, what are your thoughts about this? A lot of people keep mentioning Pretty V. Um, in his past relationship with Pretty V, is that affected you? Are you questioning him about that? How do that make you feel no. about people questioning, you know, where's Pretty V? How do that make you feel? It doesn't make me feel any way at all. I think it's funny. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just, it's levels to everything, right? Mm -hmm. And that was never this. Mm. For the people that don't know. What do you mean by that was never this and there's levels to it? Whatever they have is not what we have. Temple, you know, mm -hmm. it's no disrespect to anybody. Mm -hmm. But whatever y'all think they had is not what we for sure have. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just not. So I'm not worried about it. Mm -hmm. I don't I see the comments too. Did know? they go public? No. Well, everybody had they had to go public. Everybody knew. Well, where's the pictures of them holding hands and them kissing and them on the jet together and them in Dubai and her on the billboard? Like, where's that at? Where's the flowers? Where's all that? Y'all put a comment. Y'all let me know. Y'all pull that shit up. Because I was on it? some player shit. I no, never like, was checking. While for we're that. on the topic though, like, show me where he did that with anybody. Uh Lyrical. Let's go down Lover's Lane. Now, I never really followed Rick Ross in his like life like that. Only when he's like in the blogs for dating like some influencer girl. I knew that he dated Lyra Galore and that it was some speculation he was dating like Pretty V. But when Miss Mackey came out of the blue, at first I looked because I was scrolling on Instagram. I was like, oh, look at Pretty V because they kind of look alike if you like look at them kind of fast. But allegedly they came out with their public relationship in December. And a lot of people were like, dang, I didn't even know him and Pretty V 
split. I don't really understand why Miss Mackie is doing all of these like press runs. She's literally walking into the lion's den and they're even being disrespectful by asking her questions about his past relationships which have really nothing to do with her. If I were Miss Mackey, I would have played my role. I would have just been happy it was my turn. I would have got as much as I can get so I can have a lot to show for. So by the time the relationship ends, I'm good and I would be moving on to the next. And I definitely would not be doing no press runs. In fact, no one would even know I exist. No one would even know the link between me and so-and-so. I would be so low key about it. From watching all of the clips and some of the interviews, you have to really like listen to what she's saying because she's one of those people like, she really could be like selling like real estate. You know, like those people like Bernice Burgos, for example, like with her Breakfast Club interview, when you listen to her and Miss Mackey, they are like, in their brains, it's very empty, but if you listen to them talk and you just not paying attention, you would really think that they're like talking about something very deep and important. It's like that fake deep where you wanna sound intellectual, like, the crypto guys when they have their meetings and stuff like that <clears throat> so um y'all know why we're here yeah yes sir yeah. 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 i don't gotta say too much some of us don't want to put the time in christian ain't want to put it in but you know i work with him and now he here he want he one of us make some noise like you try to sound so like, yeah, cause you know, I could have signed a million dollar deal, blah, blah, blah. but I had to plan before I did, like stuff like that. And they asked her about, you know, his past relationships. And she basically said like, it's levels to this, which is so crazy. Cause I'm like, girl, what level are you really on? Because I've seen the highest level that Rick Ross has been on. And it's been with Lyra Galore. In my opinion, I think Ross truly loved Lyra. He proposed to her, he really wanted to marry her. And with their relationship, he took her everywhere. When you saw Ross, you saw Lyra. He had her in his interviews. When he did the Breakfast Club interview, she was there the entire time. Award shows, red carpets. He even had Lyra featured in his music video and wrote countless songs about her. Miss Mackie seems like she's just breezing through it all because anytime someone asks a question about Ross and his past relationship, she says that it doesn't bother her, it doesn't faze her, it's actually funny in fact. Who goes on a, like she literally was on a press run. But in all honesty, y'all, I actually agree with Christina Mackie. I do think it is funny because she looks ridiculous and then not even the fact that in the blogs it showed that ross just allegedly welcomed another baby like five minutes ago so that also goes to show like girl this man is a busy man and i understand like you want to be picked over and over by a man that you love and adore and a man that cherishes you as well in return but ross is not it he is not it so that's all I have. I want you guys to comment in the space below. Like, what do you think? I feel like she is like putting him on a pedestal and idolizing him so much that when this relationship ends, because everyone's gonna get their turn, she is going to be devastated. All right guys, I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.